Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part 26 of my Iron Man inspired Hulkbuster suit, which is here. So if you've watched any of the other parts, you'll know that we've basically built a wooden frame and I'm now working my way all over it, skinning it up. But first I'm making 3D printed brackets and shell parts that we can actually attach the skins on, which are gonna be lightweight sheet material. So I've done quite a lot on the torso. I've got various opening pods and things in the shoulders there where weapons are gonna be contained. Um, and I've been working my way down the legs. So a lot of people ask me, how do I pay for all the materials, all the 3D printer filaments and all the other stuff? And the answer is it's paid for by my followers. So I'm using a Patreon campaign, which you can go and fund me at patreon.com slash xrobots for as little as $1 a month and um, a lot of people fund me, that's the idea of crowdfunding, and that's how I build all the projects, and I also have various goals to achieve, you can see down the left-hand side of the page, in order to make X Robots a better content production brand and do more awesome projects. And you can fund me for as little as $1 a month, you can cap that funding, and then you can get access to my live broadcast, all my digital downloads, and various other benefits and rewards at different funding levels as well, so check that out. So today we're gonna to continue working down the legs and have a look right down at the lower legs. And yes, there's gonna be arc reactors in the knees. Here I am much closer to the ground. So in the last episode, as well as trying to walk around in the suit and things, I did some work on the back of the um, lower legs and I made these opening mechanisms that flip open and flip away from the legs. But today we're gonna to have a look at the front of the um, shins here. So looking at the um, Hot Toys figure and the life size um, figure that's been made by Hot Toys that's been going around the internet and looking at the trailer for Age of Ultron it looks like there are arc reactors in the knees of Hulkbuster um, so obviously this wooden frame is very square the aim is we're going to flesh this out with nice round contours but first of all I'm going to make a placeholder for my arc reactors or whatever they turn out to be some sort of repulsor presumably um, so I'm going to make a bracket to hold those to help me visualize the rest of the contours which ultimately have various angles in them and they come round those uh, repulsors um, so they're kind of sat there at a specific angle at the right height so we need to get that angle right from the frame then we can start to work out the other frame parts This is what I've printed, so they're made in two parts. And they're basically a knee arc reactor or repulsor mount, and I've left holes there for wires and some pilot holes for screws. And they're on a bracket that I can screw on the wood and then I can adjust the angle depending on how that turns out. And this of course will be recessed in the knee. So I need to build a frame around that that I can then um, base the other contours from. I've placed the um, unibeam or whatever you want to call them arc reactor repulsor holders on here. Um, obviously these move still so I can angle them. They're probably going to be angled slightly down to match the contour of the knee. And I've also made these surrounds which are going to float on here somewhere. Um, and these surrounds are fairly similar shape to the ones that we see in the uh, preview of Hulkbuster. And a slightly different shape and there's going to be some other things that overlap this and stick on the front. So we need to float those there and we also need to sort of provide the rest of the contours for the knee um, and the shin here. So we can't go too much on the inside because the legs are quite close together because I have to walk in it. But we can go quite big on the outside to make that calf shape. So let's have a look at some CAD. Here are the rest of the sections that are going to hold that up. So the big grey slab there is basically the wooden structure of the leg which I've made approximately the right shape in CAD. Um, and then I've got this structure here. So this is the calf. So you can see it sticks out more on the right hand side in the middle, so this is the Hulkbuster's left leg. Um, to try and contour that shape out and there'll probably be some more support between these pieces. Um, the top one there at the top of the unibeam support is at an angle because that will point um, sort of backwards and upwards towards a knee and there's going to be one more piece above that. 
Um, and the bottom one, I'm not quite sure where it goes, but it goes somewhere there towards the ankle. So uh, we need to chop all these up to get them on the print bed because they're getting quite big. And these are the parts for uh, both legs laid out and each one split in two. Obviously they'll be acetone welded back together again. So um, that represents about um, something like six or more full bed prints. So those parts are fitted, I'm holding the camera in my hand so I can move it around because it's quite hard to see the frame parts because they're kind of see-through. So you just come around to an angle here. So I've got those frames fitted with the uh, repulsor holders. So obviously those are recessed in there. And I've got the three sets of frames fitted. And obviously this makes the calves quite wide, which I think is gonna be quite a good feature. So um, around the side, where I've got that other mechanism. So let's just get in here. So that was the opening mechanism I did last time. And now we've got this um, calf coming round and um, there's gonna be a big round feature in here, I think. So it's a bit like a transformer leg. So it's got quite stout calves, um, which is why this comes quite wide. So hopefully that'll work out okay. Here's kind of a long shot. So hopefully it's easier to see what's going on there and see what the contour of those legs is likely to be. Obviously the feet are quite big as well. I've expanded my crude representation of the leg block there so that I can design the other parts of the frame. Um, and the first piece I wanted to have a go at was this weird side panel piece, um, which is kind of like, um, I don't know what, a sort of heel piece sticking out and upwards at the back. And this is um, of course similar to the one in the Age of Ultron trailer and the Hot Toys figure. Um, so this is quite a big piece, it's about 600 millimetres long. Um, of course there's a toe and things to go in front of this, and the kind of back toes that stick out of the back, but I thought I'd get this piece placed. Um, it's quite a big print, so we'll get that out of the way, and then we'll build the other pieces around it. I've broken this piece down further into some more frame parts, um, and obviously split it up into um, lots of full bed prints, and I need to print this twice. So we'll get that printed and assembled, and then we'll work our way from there. Here is one set for one side. I need to assemble those and print a whole other set for the other side. Here they are, they're pretty uh, well held together and quite rigid. I'm not gonna fix them on just yet because I want to do some more pieces to the toes so that I can place them correctly. So let's have a look at those parts. I've designed this bridge for the front of the foot, which you can see uh, now in front here. And obviously that has to fit to the side part and still allow the hinge of the foot to work. So I'm going to get that printed and attached before I put the big side wedge part on. And hopefully that's starting to look like the foot. Obviously there's some more things, there's bumpers either side and some bits and pieces. And also the actual toe which will poke out the front of this in front which I'll fit at some point. And that I have to be quite careful with to make sure that it's not easily breakable and that... Um, the uh, foot essentially can still hinge and I can still walk along without kicking it off or tripping over it. So that's probably going to come at a later stage and maybe be made of foam or some other material. Here we go, I've stuck those foot pieces on. So I've got my big sort of wedge things up each side there. And I've got the sort of toe pieces on the front and as I said before there'll be probably some big foam toe pieces actually sticking out the front so it doesn't look like its feet have been cut off. So I think I've got the kind of the right contours. The calves are quite big, and as I said, there'll be some extra features at the back on each side. Um, obviously, the actual Hulk Buster, its feet and its legs um, lean sort of outwards in a typical V shape. Obviously, I can't do that because I can't walk like that, and you can see my snowboard bindings in the middle there, which are quite far enough apart already, thank you. So um, obviously, I've tried to make the legs a bit wider at the bottom. They sort of slope out in the middle and come back in again. Um, I think altogether it's going to look a bit like a transformer, but I'm not unhappy with how it looks. I'm quite happy with the sort of contours that I've made there with the frames. 
So I'll put some more pictures on the website, it's quite hard to see because obviously you can see straight through them. Due to the sheer amount of 3D printing that I've done on these legs, that's all I've got time for this week. But I hope you're liking the look of it and I'm feeling quite positive about the project going forward. So I've done quite a lot of framing every week in this, all the way up from the chest, the um, shoulders, obviously the back of the legs, the front of the legs, the thighs, um, and some bits on the biceps, which has um, spanned the Hulkbuster series for a few weeks now. So I'm going to give that a bit of a rest. I'd really like to get some panels on so we can actually see this thing sort of taking shape on the outside, and obviously there's loads more detail to do in terms of electronics and the actual detailing and all of the little mechanisms that go in all around the suit. But actually what I'm going to do next time is probably starting with the hands and replacing them. So um, these I made very early on before the Age of Ultron trailer came out. I got really enthusiastic and started making finished pieces and painting them. Um, but they look a bit silly now and the fingers are far too long and Hulkbuster should only have three fingers and a thumb. It looks like the middle two fingers are combined into a super wide one. So my long spindly foam five fingered hands probably aren't going to be okay. <clears throat> I've also found I can make better structures with 3D printing. So there's wood in these forearms, which actually makes them quite heavy. So I'd actually think I'm going to replace the entire forearm um, and the plates on the back of the hand that open up. I think those are going to be replaced with ones that look more like the Hulkbuster in the trailer and in the movie. So that's what's going to happen next time. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates on this project and other projects. And also check out my social media pages for sneak peeks and updates.